Praise God for once again the opportunity to share God. So, okay, uh, yesterday I did share this one, but I didn't have time to complete it, but I went to do up with the in depth, okay, and uh, more things, alright? So, okay, some of the things you have not heard, huh? and something also new, alright? So, today is an important message, huh? especially the last part, okay, the climate to encourage us that. Uh, Eventually, uh, how are we rewarded uh, in serving God to motivate us by few, by many? Alright, so uh, this message uh, is by revelation, meaning to say, is uh, don't get it, the, the answer from commentary, aware, is developed over the years and pray and uh, see through the whole Bible. Alright, so today is important if we, we want to share is meeting the needs of others effectively uh, and by and sacrificially. Alright, and uh, we try our best to go to church. Uh, and recently, we went on four blocks of flat, okay, uh, one month, but we managed to get only one. Alright, and the few that uh, say yes and last minute, they say no. God, they have to see that. And yesterday, we had uh, this girl, only primary one, no doubt. Alright, and the father came uh, last week to sit through the whole thing and to see how I teach her, how I uh, Bible study also. And Last yesterday, the father brought her here. All right, they took the motor, motorized bike, and uh, so and then the father left, and then she, she stayed here alone with us. Huh? So actually, she go faster, and uh, she said a prayer to Jesus also. So we praise God. Huh? Now she, she has said she believed in Jesus as a now. So we have one soul added to the kingdom, and we want to do more. And I've been thinking how effectively that we can choose the because some we have lost some students. Uh, I think probably one of the reasons I got inside the COVID that made the situation worse uh, for two years. And the other thing is that maybe we are not done enough. And yesterday I decided that uh, I will not prepare my touch on my sermon with at home the week as second completely so they can have all the time for the student. I came and uh, this two week I uh, taught the student. And I think that they were very happy. We had a mother, and yesterday the one mother and I said, okay, my two children will go for the camp. Right? So praise God. Right? I was surprised. She said that her sister. I was surprised that the mother allowed the daughter. Before last week the daughter said, no, I'm not going. Only my brother. And yesterday they said, oh, my, my two children will go. One primary four months and two. Right? So praise God. Alright, so I think we need to minister effectively we are the Indian extra time. You know, yesterday the girl father met me at the park area there. Say how my daughter doing today. So we are asking for a study. So yeah, she, she did better, much better today and she more confident and she she learned faster. I say next week you, you come I give her more grammar. Huh? And uh, so and, uh, she was uh, he was happy. Alright, so we see how it goes. Alright, so continue to pray. So this is a soul that we want to reach and God has given her that soul and the Father allowed her to come down to meet with family, right? And then this Tuesday, we're going to meet Andrea. And then uh, just uh, last night she was at me and how long the whole thing thing, yeah? We haven't got back to her yet, but it's quite late, I'm already asleep, huh? Alright, so we're uh, bringing her to the church here. Yeah? And then we want to share us, uh, Gerald and, and, and uh, Jerry. Jerry, amazingly, her father said, okay, they come and uh, you know, get to know her. All right? So uh, they're coming on uh, Tuesday to share their testimony with her. Of course, I will share some work with her. And then they will come and have a some study or whatever. Then we get a free lunch. Huh? All right? So this is another new convert, so called Asset 2. You know, Asset 2 is very hard to win. And the other one is if you are according to the uh, the the four by window or one, he say the age fourteen, yeah, four to fourteen, four to fourteen is easier to be, but fifteen or more are very hard to reach. Okay, the majority of the converts come from this age group, four to fourteen. And over and then uh, it's very hard uh, to get any convert. I mean, you know, like uh, especially you know the big one very hard to get. Uh, you only get the small one, then we go back up. It does uh, so we have to be uh, effective in being so to expand the church and the church can be uh, so far 30 more people uh, around 34, 35, right? I'm going for the church camp, we are still trying to reach out for more to come to make it 40, 40, 
Alright? Or maybe 50. Alright? So we use the opportunity to reach out to them. Huh? So we want to save so our Jesus heart is people, 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 soul, soul, right? So we want more souls to be ushered to the kingdom of God and we have to be strategically and effectively willing over. What's one of the most powerful is friend, bring friends. Bring the relatives of bring here. The one is most powerful. But the uh, next one is uh, because we don't we don't have so many relatives, right? We hope God as many bring each one bring one, huh? Right? Because uh, Alright, I thought you can bring your friend, bring your friend, right? This one bring one, huh? I think that will be very effective. They ask, morning ask them to bring their brother in, right? Uh, mother Christian brother will go to church, right? So, let's pray that uh, her brother, eldest brother will come, seek her, uh, will come to church, uh, stay to Rome, rest, was. And uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to drink coffee with him, with the boss and give advice, and make friends with him, huh? Right? And go stay to Rome, rest. Right, so this is how we can reach out and grow the church. Huh? And why is it so important uh, to grow the church? Because this is the heart of God. And we must continue to be sacrificially doing it huh? and uh, to empower them to shine for Jesus on earth. And may they will shine in every corner of society. Let's say, ask uh, what skill they're praying for. What are you going to do? What are you going to be? What's your ambition in uh, the future? So, want to become a teacher. I said very good and pray for her. Right? And this young man is very good to claim to be a teacher. I said, uh, what kind of teacher you be? What subject teacher? I said, I don't know. <laughs> then they might maybe you will you know later, they might have some role bigger, right? Alright. So it is a good good thing. They say ambitious to be a teacher, that's good. Alright, so we will see the more young people be blessed and uh, used by the Lord mentally right, and in every corner of society. Alright, that's what we intend to do to shine for Jesus. You know, the, what I'm going to share with you, uh, the different texts I'm share with you, one of the texts is the, you know, uh, you know the story, uh, Matthew 16, right? The 18, where God revealed to Peter who he was, the Messiah, the sons of the living God. Huh? So he's by revelation. And then after the revelations, uh, I say, I will build the church right upon you, Peter the Rock, okay, the apostle ministry. Huh? Just one thing is apostle ministry. And then the gates of the hell will not reveal and surround them and give you the keys to the kingdom, okay? And uh, to set people free and to bind the demons and so on. Huh? And then after that, after that, you know, you see, the question is after the building of church, then Jesus said, I'm going to die. What was, what is the connection, okay? Because many a time we read, uh, we, we, we just read, you know, we don't know whether, how he's going to connect. You know, it, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, you know how to build the church. The next things first that I need how to build the church, right? And this is God's way to build the church. Huh? You know, uh, sometimes we just read. You say, hey, after building church, then connect to you know, to Jerusalem and South and Kiev. We, we are not really pointed on the connection. But the Bible thing exactly tell you specifically to okay, this is how you should plant the church. How you should grow the church. Right? Never right. Let's see how you should grow the church. See from then on. <coughs> Jesus began to explain <coughs> to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elder chief being and must be killed. And on the third day, raised. Huh? So the word is important, raised. Okay, you can see that uh, the Bible did tell you that this is how you should grow the church. But this is the way to grow the church, to die, okay, and to be raised. They say only when you die, then you can be raised. Okay, how powerful it is, right? So unless you die, you cannot be raised, right? Okay, so, and then, in a, okay, let's skip about the seed one, and let's go straight to the point. Yeah. Okay, let's skip all these, and let's come to Peter again, uh, reverse, uh, okay, let's go about all that. Uh. Okay, then I just uh, read to you, uh. and after that, in uh, verse uh, 21, uh, 23, Peter says, never alone. Okay, and review Jesus. Huh? Okay, I read to you in uh, specific. Huh? Okay, let's uh, those you have because I don't follow my slide uh, chronologically. Okay, let's go to that the spirit flow. Huh? 16, 23. Yeah? And then Jesus turned to and people and then what happened? 
Peter took Jesus aside, verse 23, yeah, and began to rebuke Jesus. Never long, he said, this shall never happen to you. And Jesus turned around and said to Peter, get in behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have the things of God, but the things of men. Okay, you know, uh, yesterday I shared with uh, you, uh, is, is that uh, this is a self-preservation, uh, naturally, we don't want to die. Uh, naturally, all of you, in, by nature, we are all afraid to die. Okay, by God, uh, you know, I say, hey, Peter told Jesus, no, you shall not die. They want to protect Jesus, right? But the fact was that, was the fact was that uh, Peter is suggesting to Jesus his way of doing, not by dying on the cross. Okay, that is, instead of following Jesus, he's leading Jesus. So this is a humanistic uh, man's thinking. So many a time, uh, because of our humanistic thinking, uh, we are doing God's work and we are not being blessed. Right? Um, the God's way is not our way. So why are the heavens above us? So are His way above our ways. So these are human thoughts, human way of self interest, not willing to sacrifice. But God's way is that you want to build the church, effectively you must die. You must give up your life. Alright? Then you can give it. Yesterday I didn't share with you this. Uh, this morning I went to develop further and some of the interesting things I will share in the last part. It's a very powerful thing. Something that I myself was ministered, right? I'm sure you will be ministered at the end of the message. Huh? But before I come to that, I just say that uh, uh, God's way uh, to build the church is done. Alright? So, today uh, we are all here to build the church. Praise the Lord. Okay? And this has been regular, but we need to see more people coming, the youth coming, and all that. Huh? So, you know, Christianity is up and down. Now, my son, you know, he is not here today, right? He will not be here for a few weeks. And then he had no time. He was told me the last time he came to church, by a waste of time, by like one stage. Uh. But after he learned to disciple others and all that, wow, he said, wow, he took years to build on this COVID period to really build himself up. Uh. He now up really you know, now, you know, not can do he will go down. Because now he has from church, right? So he's saying that, he's saying that, uh, you know, he has to say, hey, we can do a baby online, uh, he's really ready. And got every baby, you know, Test. And then, who tell you know, some of his colleagues uh, slept one hour properly and a few hours on the sofa to uh, prepare for test, you know, in half a few hours. So, there has been going on, this is a marathon, it will be going on. Uh, and uh, two tests, and one test is that we hear seven to nine lecture. And then one lecture is one, one hour or two hours, right? Well, then go after the go to school every day. It's a very loving. Uh, and then, uh, very people are very smart, no? they got 86 smart, huh? people got 90 no? So if the mode is 90, no? not 86. And we're very clever people. No? <laughs> you see that? I had it on the team. Huh? And there's some, you know, they say he went back home. They say, you say he went back and three something on Rekha and uh, six on Rekha. The alarm rang, no? but the person just pressed down. And then after Rekha, the eight plus, what I say. Or something like this, I don't know, overshot by an hour. And then I said, one, that shows a very tiny way. Alright, so, anyway, I say the nature of the God is such, you know, they invest in you, you know, they, they, they really uh, push you on to the maximum, uh, all that. So, but you're not careful about your spiritual life will be affected. That is really okay. So, you can go down, uh, if you don't come to church, you don't get involved in teaching and ministry, your spiritual life will go down. And you come to a day, you don't feel like coming to church. And coming to church is a waste of time. Coming to church, uh, you will drag your feet and then you now dry and then do your own things again. That's where, you know, Satan comes in with it. I mean, when you want to backslide, you say, if you don't go up, you will go down. Uh, so you, you agree with that. Alright? So, I pray for him. Alright? And uh, his heart is still serving God. Uh, but I say, it's okay, I just do your best you can. Maybe you can, you know, you can give you online, you can also teach online. Okay? Whatever it is you can do, you do. Uh. So we can see that, uh, so Peter was saying is that uh, do it human way, not God's way. So many a time we do things the human way because we are not willing to sacrifice. Oh, you say, get me behind me, Satan. Uh, 
uh, Satan, but maybe human way is opposing to God's way, it's just like Satan opposing to human way. So specifically, here you're not talking about Satan. Right or wrong, it's just like Satan opposed God. Right or wrong, humanistic thinking. So the way everything uh, blame on Satan, but I'm not supporting of Satan. No. Right? But we have to look at the actual evidence. Uh, is that Jesus is saying that humanistic thinking, concerns of human. Uh, so many a time, your humanistic thinking is a stumbling block to the furtherance of God's kingdom. Right? And of uh, course, sometimes it's demonic influence. Right? So you have to you have to have the mind of God. If you have the mind of man, you cannot further the kingdom of God effectively. It's like getting behind me, Satan, you are a stumbling block to my expansion of my kingdom. So we don't go by a humanistic thinking, self-interest, right? Thinking we want pretty well. Okay, so yeah, alright. Okay, let's go on to this. Uh, let me flow uh, because, uh, you know, uh, now it's like uh, something, yeah? Okay, let's, yeah, two sets of notes, uh, one in my paper, only one paper, only. right? All my verses are here. This morning I wrote down. Alright, so, okay, here, alright, and then, okay, so, if we are talking about the serving God, God's way, that's basically like that. Now, let's look at the woman now. Can I go to the story and skip all whatever story is there about the women the we were sharing yesterday that I go back and develop like some thought. Huh? Okay, there's uh, this woman that is a uh, perfume, right? You wasted uh, one year, right, of wage, huh? And uh, Chuta is here, say, hey, what a waste. You know, the one year wage I can give to the poor, but actually not before you consider the poor, before you have to sell the money in the treasury bank. And then what happened was, uh, uh, actually, she's uh, investing in the burial of Jesus, you know, for prophecy. Just we sang the song, right? Man of Sorrow. He's right. And then, there's a, a phrase like, then he begin to bury, after he's buried, the body begins to breathe, right? Okay, it's talking about anointing the body of Jesus. Okay, this how does it connect with the poor? Okay, this story connects with the poor, right? And uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, rather give the poor, Jesus said, no, you 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 you, you, you always have the poor with you, but you not always has me. Uh, what's the significance of the connection? Uh? Okay, the the barrier that dream uh, is talking about Jesus resurrected and then the birth of the new church. So in that sense, uh, the, the lady is investing in the church, huh? And who are the church? Okay, you say the poor. You know, uh, the poor here that we have is here right now, the student, because why? And when we partner with Jesus, Jesus leads us, and this is where God leads us right here. There will be other needs in every country, everywhere, but we cannot meet all the needs, and we are not ready to have foreign missions in you know, a different parts of the world. But we can only meet the needs right here. So these are the poor that we have, and this is led by Jesus. So, you know, there are many people that uh, invest here, they spread themselves, they are not effective. But if you want effective ministry, you must invest all our limited resources right at this local church. Okay? And in the future, okay, I pray for our renewal of the contract. And uh, the next contract due is 5th of May next year. Now, our tenant, uh, this one is willing to join us, but he says stay at the same price. Say we are not guaranteed, we have to check with the boss. The boss says increase price and increase your price. Right? So we are going to get there again. So we want to we will continue for the next three years with the lost Harry and we will be here. So we will minister to the poor right here and Jesus is the leader. And one thing is very important in life, uh, we must discern the leading of the spirit. Alright? In our life, every step of the way. We 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 have a lot of action, especially you see led by God and this and that. You can tell one. I can tell you. I told one brother. I don't have the passions at this moment, and we are ready to reach uh, people in Bangladesh. Alright. First thing, our life is too distant. Second thing, we cannot speak the language properly. We we don't know language of course, but we don't. I don't even know language. We cannot reach out effectively. I say that plan of ministry is not effective. But if they are just you know, I say assembly of God for one church, assembly of Singapore has supported the assembly of God in Bangladesh, right? I say that one is enough. Okay, we don't need to duplicate the work there. And moreover, we are neighbor. We just focus on here. Because, you know, in my ministry in India, like, I, 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 one, one duck, one hand, uh, not effective one. They ask me to take over the church, uh, 
I give a stupid blanket, if the my interpreter not wrong, I can help me shop today. So, you know, get somebody that can speak the language more effective, right? I will do that kind of job because, because my, I'm not mixing you of my talent, my gifts there, because I'm out of place, right? I'm not effective. So, this is not, the Jesus never did it to be there. So, we must be where Jesus wants us to be, to lead us. Don't just go here, go there, go there, and become very dangerous or uh, respect ourselves. Be very focused in the ministry and do it where I encourage you to do so. Alright? And uh, eventually God will reward. What kind of reward you see in the world? Alright? Something, uh, uh, it's an interesting uh, uh, where I read this morning I discovered that uh, in this way. Yeah? So what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, when we do God's work, uh, we must sense where the Spirit is. You know, yesterday, you know, I rejected students who come here. Okay, yesterday what I told you, yeah, and this student uh, speak on behalf of the student say, hey, let my friend come. I never came before. He said, let him play one hour game. You know. He said, he, he stressed. Uh, he had a lot of tuition uh, and all that. He said, hey, you know, you have to play game here. Uh, can you allow me to let him come? I said, no. Here is not to play game. Here is to study and learn. You know, right? You have to play game to play at home. I swear. But you know, maybe I may have a stop half an hour break. You can play game you play at But not you mean tuition or what. He said, I'm so day, you don't understand. Uh. You know, you may be stressed. Uh. I said, no. He said, if you allow one, the rest will follow. He said, no. I said, never mind, you disagree with me, it's fine. But we have tried. If you have left one, then you This week we left one. What is there a few more coming out of Mashul? So I said, no. No. After that, you didn't me. I said, it's okay. You, you don't come, it's okay. I'm okay with it. We, we don't accept. Okay, I said in school you follow school guidelines, in church you follow our guidelines. Okay, you're playing one hour? No, cannot. You must focus on Jesus and focus on the academic and learn. The one we know, right? I tell you, we must be firm and speak. And there's another boy we go in. Can I go to church yet? No. Why is it no? I don't see it. He says, he asked me why no. I said no. I told uncle, no. Because when he, he went for two church yet today, I talked to him. I did him a few times one to one. No. I said, believe Jesus, no. Okay. So how do you believe by Jesus? Okay, in this case, you're not ready. Until you're ready, you believe Jesus, then you come to church camp. Then we let you come. If not, no. Okay? So we must be strict. Eh? We are here, we mean business. We are here for Jesus, and we are here to do a good job. Okay, we want, okay, we are good conduct. Okay, so we don't compromise. We, you know, we need more people to come, but some people, we don't need. Okay, this is not the category that Jesus is looking for. Okay? We must go according to the interest of Jesus, not our interest. Huh? Okay, we don't look for uh, right one uh, number, just show number. No, we want people who are serious. Then we take them in. Right? It's okay to be small, okay, a few, and have peace. Rather than they have so many, and then everybody starts playing games. Yeah, everybody starts playing games when I'm preaching. Can you imagine? You cannot, right? Then I myself talk to me then. <laughs> then myself buy the amusement center. Everybody come, play game, and enjoy. Right? Try to play. Then I I don't need to do, I relax. Maybe I also play game. Alright? Enjoy them. Come on. You're not, you're not too bad, huh? Okay, huh? So that's why the lady invests in the perfume of Jesus for him. This we are looking for. Like the true believer, huh? Now we want the true believer, okay? The one who is serious for God, huh? All right? So, okay, let's move on. Let's skip at this. Uh, okay, the Bible says you must do the, the. Okay, let's look at the narrowing people, huh? Let's look at the Duke. <coughs> Duke 13, huh? Make every effort. Sorry, is that the one? Yeah, there's another one. Okay, yeah, verse, verse 22 first. Huh? Then Jesus went throughout the towns, familiar verse, huh? and villagers teaching as many as he made his way to Jerusalem. Again, Jerusalem. Uh, he died for the first Jerusalem, and actually he's dying for the new Jerusalem. That is a true believer. Huh? And someone asked him, Lord, are uh, only a few people going to be saved? He said to them. You know, interesting, yeah, people ask, people ask uh, Jesus a direct to give a direction. Jesus never to give a direct answer. Why? He just did. Okay. He gave them a hint, right? He said, uh, someone said, ask him, say, 
Lord, I only have three people going to say, how do you reply? He said, make every effort. He never said, yes, first, right? He said, make every effort to enter the narrow gate and give you another new team. Uh, because many, I tell you, who are trying to enter will not be able to enter. These are a few that are not looking for people who come and play games. Uh, that one, no, it's not inside this uh, verse. Once the owner of the house get up, you know why we let him? Because we know him. Last time he was here, he we he asked to try and go to your play. Then he said, when he his phone, he left. You know, he was not happy, he angry, he left. But we just leave him alone. Huh? Okay, he said, he is ready to follow up the plan. Huh? Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, he will stand outside knocking him. We did, sir, open the door for us. But he will say, I don't know you. Where you come from? Okay, so you can see here, uh, only a few people are going to make it. Okay, and I said we're not interested when people come here and play game. Or come here uh, just to make friends, no? and then uh, and affect others. You know, when people who come here don't believe Jesus, they play game and affect others. And then they, they just talk to others, and then talk about the worldly thing, uh, and then they affect them. We, we don't want these people, alright, to come here, alright? The church is not a place for them in this way. Yeah? Then what happened? So we only want people who are interested. Okay, the narrow gate people, huh? Okay. Okay, let's look at what Jesus has to say, yeah? Uh, another verse uh, for you. For who is greater? The one who is at the table or the one who serves. I like this verse. Huh? He is not the one who is at the table, but I among you the one who serves. Okay. Huh? So ministry here. We cannot be as well as sit like a king, no. Hey, serve me coffee, yeah. Uh, I pray, no. I know like the holy leader, right? No, 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 no. You're not, you're not like that. Uh, I mean, uh, like, uh, like a boss, like a big boss, like that. Uh, we must be a sample, sample servant, slave. Slave for Jesus, right? And we did the curse. So what happened? <coughs> okay. Jesus said, what? You are those who stood. Okay, he's saying, he's not. The one who's to, who is at the table, but I'm the one among you who serve. So we must initiate to serve. So we are here to serve. Again, okay, we initiate and to serve people. You say, why are we so that nobody appreciate? You know why Jesus goes to solution, right? He, he goes to solution to be rejected, no? and to be rejected, and to be killed, no? and death, and die. Rejected, killed, and die. Okay, that is the ministry. And the Lord calls us to do the same ministry that we will be rejected by others. Many will reject us. Okay? Many will reject us. By then you are, you must think through probably you count the cost first. Before, you know, uh, then before, you must count the cost. Then, once you understood the cost, then you are willing, with a willing mind. Otherwise, you will move back. You know why? When Jesus went to the direction, the first thing is what? He will be rejected. Okay. I may not be there no longer. We will be rejected by the people. So rejection is part and parcel of the ministry. It's okay. We must get used to rejection. Okay? And people say no to you, it's fine. Yesterday I talked to you, then after that he never replied me no. It's fine with me. You don't come, it's fine with me. Alright? I don't need. Okay, I don't need to give in. Okay? So please don't give in. Huh? Alright? This kind of people we don't need. Okay, we want people who are serious for oh God. Alright? So, so rejection is very normal. We do God's work. I don't feel bad that people reject you. They are not rejecting, they reject you to God. Alright? If they reject you, they reject God. Uh, but don't need to take it to heart and so severe. If they reject you, look for someone who is interested then reach out. Okay? So, don't need to feel so bad. No? Alright? I feel so bad. Because the, the mind is different, the philosophy is different, or God will accept you. It's perfectly correct. No need. To be feel accepted by people in that sense. Because if you are different from them, you won't be accepted by them. You are people of the world, you only accept the world. Right? So no need to feel anything. Because we are here to do what we are here to be spent. Okay? It's okay. People don't talk to you, it's fine. Mm-hmm. When a person wants to talk to you, who will be talk to you. But even when nobody talks to you, it's fine. Talk to God. <laughs> okay? No need to feel. Just be. You know, uh, my son was sharing with me. I, I like a lot of people sharing. Uh, he said what he go to the school, right? You know, he sit alone in the center. Right in front of everybody, you know. Nobody says he sit alone in the strike in the center. Then after that, people can't join him. People can't be friendly. 
so he is doing his own thing. <coughs> no, need, no need to be overly concerned what people think of you. No need to be concerned, just be who you are, you know, just do your own thing, and you keep yourself busy for the law, you know. Uh, know where you stand up. Uh. You know, the people scared to be alone. Well, don't be scared to be alone. Maybe you have Jesus with you, right? Just be who you are, just be friendly with you. Alright? Okay, let's move on. Huh? Okay, then he says, right, You are those who stood by me. He's saying, okay, you, go through, you stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you a kingdom. God will give you a kingdom, and as yes, my father confer one on me, so that you may eat and drink at my tables in my kingdom and sit at the throne, judging the children. And this is the reward I'm going to give you. But the job is not easy, there will be rejection. You'll be killed and you die, but you'll be resurrected. The next thing you die, then you'll be resurrected. And then Jesus said to his disciples, Okay, let's continue here. It's another verse. And Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself, then put God in trust first, and take up his cross. And Peter took up his cross, right? He died on the cross, upside down, and he died. He took up the cross and followed me. So he must bear carry your cross, huh? For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life will find it. What good will it be if someone to gain the whole world, forfeit their own soul? And what can anyone give in exchange of their soul? Okay? Okay, uh, this part. Uh, for, okay, let's read first and later then we come back to this. Uh, for the Son of Man is going to come in His Father's glory. You can see that, right? Jesus Christ is going to die, right? But after he died, he will be resurrected. Then he will come to his father's glory. Okay, this part we will share. The last part connected to 17. And before that, i give you one more example uh, of Judges uh, before we come back to the climax. Okay, Judges. Uh, okay, Judges, we are looking for, in my calculator, under the 2000 uh, of the soldier, right? God only picked 300. That counter is 0 0.009%. 0.009% means less than 1%. 1% less than 1% chosen. It's so few of the remnant. Huh? Can you imagine? Not 10%, percent no? it's less than 1%. Alright? So it is uh, very interesting. Okay, maybe you have a quiz. I think you know the answer. Before I show you the verse, I want to show you the picture. Can we have the picture? You have the picture then? About uh, this one. Huh? <laughs> okay, that's a quiz. Okay, you all those who don't want to the answer. Huh? That asks for those who don't know, uh, uh, I'm sure. Okay, I want to ask this question. Uh, if you are the commander of all the army, right? And this is like a soldier. Okay, you can see that, uh, okay, the commander, right? And then the soldier, right? How about these three, uh? oh, There's another one here, right? Okay, uh, Sister Jane, maybe ask anyone, uh, everyone is okay. Uh? <laughs> if you're wrong, it's okay, uh? Okay. Okay, maybe we ask, uh, um, can I? Okay. <laughs> If you are the commander, no? uh, Tiffany, you help me, man. Which one you choose? There are four soldiers there. Which one you choose to be your soldier to fight the war? Number two. Number two. Which one? Which one? This one or this one? Or this one? This one. This one? Yes. You choose this one? Mm. Why you choose this one? Because the first one. Huh? Sorry? The first one. Why is it? Can you explain that to me? Why choose that one? Let me ask him. Let me choose. He chose. chose number two. He chose this one, right? Okay, yeah, this one. He chose this one. Huh? Okay. Why oh, you can choose? You can choose more than one. Huh? Don't just choose one, okay? I okay. choose number two. Huh? Okay, that's what I'm saying. Just give the lower one to this. He chose number two. Why, why is this reason? What is this reason? I cannot understand it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Anyone can go away. Okay, I come back to you. Uh, you can then you give me yeah. the reason. Yeah, yeah. Instead of left, yeah, yeah. Because the second one. Why oh, you choose the second one? Because the first one could be both days. Oh, the whole face is Okay, right. okay, he's described the physical uh, response, right? 
uh, action right to the drinking water. So he's commenting on the way you drink the water. Alright? Okay, huh? How about, you know, what, you want to give you, you want to, you are a commander, the man, right? You choose out of the four, uh, you can choose more than one. Which one you choose? Which one you choose to be a soldier, to fight the war? Number three, which one? Number three, which one? Is it this one? Okay, why you choose this one? <laughs> why you choose this one? <laughs> Any reason? Any particular reason? Any reason? He doesn't need to drink so much. Yeah, doesn't need to drink so much. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. Anyone? How about the back? How about Emily, Michelle? Everybody, yeah, this is the team. Which one you choose? How about three? Yeah? The one? Uh, the <laughs> same thing as Kevin and Michelle. Okay, why you choose the one? Why do you say one? Uh, left by a dog, 
or the one that is uh, kneel down or the knee. Which one the Lord chose now? Asa me, is it okay? Which one the Lord chose? Which one? The three that left the uh, dog or the one who's to like the uh, house squat or uh, house stand, uh, the knee. Which one? Sorry? Left leg. Left leg dog. You see, right? The three other men drank from like a like, dog, right? And the rest go on their knees to drink. Then the Lord said, With the three other men that left, or call like, the dog, right? I will save you from the hidden in your hand. Uh. So God sent the rest back home, but keep the three other who left like a dog. Interesting, right? You see, it's different, right? So let me uh, the answer is, you're not the one, the third person, no. Okay, he's <laughs> the one that left the dog. Why? Uh, okay, the reason is that uh, they really have faith in God. Uh. That means they completely trust God, uh, that God will fight the enemy for them. Right? And they just enjoy their dream and live like a dog. Don't fear. That's what God said. The God said that those who tremble with fear can go back, right? And this word that I thought they have no fear. They don't have fear, they have they have hundred percent faith, trusting God. Alright, and then he, he, these are the minority uh, that the dog who really trust God. Okay. And uh, what he say in, in, in human speech we can say well, they are so new speed or they're spread and all that. Uh, but they really enjoy it. Or maybe maybe they are they are, you know, they, they really trust God. I mean they, because the previous world was those who tremble with fear and go there. So they have no fear. And don't fear you let by God. Don't, they don't worry about the enemy yeah? and they fully trust God. But it's a very unusual uh, incident. Uh, unusual because it, it really blow your mind, right? We are like, army, we don't do that, right? Army, we will take the one and number three. My God. Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. No, no, the, the picture not saying the Kali and Kirela. The picture of the Kali and Kirela is uh, but the three left like a dog, right? But the one, you know, they say uh, uh, they kneel down, uh, but the one is not kneel down, the one is like just a squatting. Uh, not squatting, I mean, he bent the knee. The knee. But the picture not very, very accurate, but it's the only picture I can find. Right? Uh, there's a uh, one Google. But having said that, uh, the one that left like a dog, you know, I mean, people say, oh, these people are very uh, useless people, or maybe you listen to me. Sorry, again. No, the one, two, and the four point on the knees, they are not coming from the hands. They are picking. Okay, let's see the next picture. Uh, this one, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, the third one, that is coming from the hands. Uh. Yeah. No, I can see, I can see the picture not very accurate. Right. Right. No, I mean, I'm not going to do it. No, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, right. The picture is not very accurate, but the, 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 the principle is that one left like a dog, the one don't left like a dog. Uh, that is the no, 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 third one is coughing with your hands, yeah. like a dog, but the other three are on their knees. Yeah, on their knees. Yeah, so actually, if you look at this picture, right, God actually knows the third one. No, no, okay, 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 okay. The, 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 this picture is not like, not, uh, okay, this one is laughing like a dog, right? Yeah, but they're on their knees. Okay, now I can never look at the first means the first uh, okay, can I go back to the first? Okay. Okay, yeah. The see this word that's not very clear. This this problem with this this word, I read another version. Uh. The two other men drank from cup hands uh, okay, the phrase what you want is lacking like dogs. Okay, that's the phrase. Uh. And the rest gone on their knee to drink. With the three other men that left, that's the word, right? That's a key word left. Right? You just say knee, right? Uh, so that one is a the only thing that is taking is the word they left. Okay, and God chose to let like a dog. Right, the picture give me uh, just uh, some. Uh, <laughs> Hello, I'm asking you to draw one. Uh, Emily, can I ask you to draw one? <laughs> I can't draw one. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's, uh, it's uh, not easy. It's not easy to understand the language. Okay, All right. But anyway, whatever the case is, left like a dog. Words left like a key word. Uh, and God chose the three other who have not travel with fear. That's the word. No fear, because the previous verse said. Tremble with fear can go back, right? Right on. Right, right, huh? So the word is no fear. I mean, they have faith in God. Huh? So God will choose people who have faith in God. But out of these, huh, 300 out of the 32,000. 0.009%. Less than 1%. So you know how few it is that God chose? Very few. So remember, huh, we only want good people who are really solid, okay, and who are all out. 
from God. Eh? Okay, now come back to the last part of the message. Okay, now go back to Matthew. Eh? Okay, is Okay, let's go to Matthew <coughs> 23. 20. Not 23, the 27, 28. Eh? Okay, this one will bring me to the last part, the climax. Eh? Then we will end until chapter 7. Chapter 7 and a few verses. Eh? Okay, let's go to. Yeah, okay, verse 27. For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory. Okay, you have to understand uh, the context. First, uh, the 18th step of building the church. Then after that, uh, uh, Peter rebuked Jesus, right? And then uh, Jesus said, you, you get in behind you, Satan. Alright? And then, okay, so what you have to see is a key uh, Jerusalem, right? Okay, and then after that, he says that uh, wherever want to save his life will lose it. Uh, whoever loses his life or mine will save it. Right? That means he's talking about now stressing again, laying down your life to serve God. Laying down your life in the background, contact is to build his church. Uh, laying down your life to build his church. And then what happens when you build his church? And God is saying, that when you build his church, you lay down your life to build his church, verse 27, for the Son of Man is God. Uh, Jesus is coming in his Father's glory with his angel. That means he's coming back, second coming. Uh, and then he will reward each one according to what he has done. Okay, there's another quiz here. <coughs> okay, this one is not so difficult on verse 28. Huh? They tell me what is it. Huh? Verse 27 says he will come back in his father glory with the angel, the second coming, and he will reward each one according to what he has done. Verse 28, truly, it's the word truly. Huh? I will truly, I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death, okay, will not taste death, huh? before they see the sun coming in his kingdom, okay. So, okay, now my quiz is not a difficult quiz, huh? what does it, what does 28 mean? Coming, the son of man will be coming in his kingdom, what is the meaning of that? What's the meaning, what's the, what's the meaning of that? Now he's the son of man, right? On the okay, that's a clue, really, right? And he says that some of you will not taste them before the son of man coming in his kingdom. What's the meaning of that? Kalai, you What do you mean by this? Is important, huh? This is very important. Why he's saying that he's coming? The son of man is coming. The son of man coming in his kingdom. What does that mean? Uh, Okay, okay, it's interesting. That's it, it brings me to a climax again. Eh? After we are on chapter 17, huh? okay, what do you think? What does Jesus trying to say? Anyone or anyone beside Alan? Interesting, I don't see the words in that way, no, in that sense. Huh? Alright? What do you think? What, does Jesus, what is Jesus saying here? It's important, no? This is an important verse. What is Jesus saying? Anyone? Anyone want to say? Anyone? Any clue? Anyone? Anyone? Yes. How about Emily? You want to check? Or Michelle? How about Han and Tiffany? You want to check? Or Elvis? Oh, Tim? Are you going? Oh, Han, sorry? Yeah, coming in his kingdom. Second coming of Christ. Okay. We, okay, someone, someone, different view? Anyone? Wait. Anyone, Colin? Colin, I hear me. Oh, Esther, you know what's right? Esther Jane. Esther Jane. Anyone, can guess? Can you call it the. Now it's child 15, right? <laughs> so 16 or more, we'll be paid as child 15. Right? You're finishing with 27. Anyone? Important, that's why I pause. How about this side? So we, uh, can anyone try? I'm going to say coming, second coming of Jesus Christ. You're not wrong, huh? I'm going to say that you're not wrong. But I look for more than that. 
Because this verb will connect you to the chapter uh, 16 and 20, 23 and so on. Huh? Connect to the busy verses. Important. Jesus is coming, what? You say he's coming in his kingdom, right? He's coming as a king with his angel, right? So, okay. So, okay, now, what's the significance? Uh, Jesus said, build the church. How to build the church? He must die. He will reward you, right? He will, but you, when you do that, when he does that, he, he was rewarded by the Father. He will come back as a king with his angel, right? He will come back as a king. So, the rationale behind the parable is that when you are his follower, you follow Jesus, you build the church, you will be killed. So, of course, you will be a martyr, right? You lay down your life, you will be rewarded, you will come back also as a king. And that is the reward for all of us. So today, uh, you cannot remember this, and still remember this one. Huh? Okay, never remember, the, you cannot remember the picture, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you view it, right? But remember, this one is that Jesus is going to come back as a king with his, in his kingdom, with all his angels, and if that is a reward of the Father for him, God will also be the reward of the Heavenly Father for all of us. We will come back as a king. Because it's a king and king, right? And that's why the Bible says, the present suffering is nothing compared to the glorious uh, moment uh, uh, or the glory that God will bestow upon you. Okay, the present suffering, the rejection, the being killed and being uh, rejected of it is absolutely Nothing. All right. Let's go to chapter seventeen. Let's see what the seventeen say. Yeah. Well, oh, chapter seventeen is after six day. Uh, Jesus took with him who Peter, James, and only the closest. This one he spoke to the disciples, speaking to the crowd. That's not the beginning where he talked to the disciples, right? He didn't. He left the crowd with him. So only spoke the secret uh, to the disciples. Now he spoke. Only to the three out of the twelve. You can see that. The principle is that if you are very close with Jesus, very really love Jesus, you go all out for Jesus, uh, you will see more things in the kingdom of God. God will reveal you. you Alright? And this is the question of how much faith you have. Alright? Then he said, Jesus, James, and John, and led them out to the mountain. Then he was transfigured. That means it's a heavenly glory appearance. It's a resurrected appearance of Jesus. Meaning to say, just now he said that I'm going to die and then I'll be raised, right? Now he's still on earth, he did not die yet. Now he show that after he died, what will he become? A glorified appearance, right? So same thing. We on earth, we are healthy body, when we lay down our life, we die, when we are resurrected, we will have this kind of appearance of Jesus. Okay? This is how you look like, and this is a secret, huh? and then he transfigured before them, and his face shone. Yeah. And his face shone. <coughs> and his face shone like the sun, and his coat became as white as the light. And just then appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Good, right? Because it's we see the heavenly glory of Jesus. If you wish, I put up three shelter, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. <coughs> Excuse me. While he was speaking, a bright light cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love, and with him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Okay, now my question to all of you is, Listen to him. What the what the God say to the disciples? Listen to him. What does this story means? What does it say? Listen to him. Okay, you summarize in your own words. How about uh, how do you want to summarize? Well, God say, listen to him. Listen to him. What? Can you tell us the story? Listen to him. What? Anyone? Oh, we have just said right. The Jesus said the God. They saw right in the voice for heaven said, listen to me. Very important uh, three words, right? Listen to him. But what the what the three words mean to the disciple and to us? Listen to him. Come. 
Dalam kan? Ha, sorry? Obedient. Tapi okay, elaborate. Correct. Obedient nanti mesti kan? Elaborate. Elaborate. Based on the content. We are talking about this content. We finishing reading. Based on this content. Yang terakhir, obedient sekarang. Listen to the obedient. Masa, what is it? Can you elaborate on this content? What exactly God is telling them to do? Come, any volunteer? Comprehension. This comprehension, this comprehension. Come, anyone? Let's say we are closing. How about Esther? Listen to him, what? Do what? Opinion, yes, do what? It's just a summary of what you just heard. And maybe you can put in one sentence or one, one or a few sentences. Anyone? How about Ken? Sorry? Yeah, teaching, yes. Specify what is the teaching in this context. Yeah, sacrifice. Yeah. 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 You will, you will, of course, you will face rejection, uh, you will be killed or you will die as a martyr, whatever it is, but you will be empty, rewarded, and you will come back as a king. Listen to him. Okay, so this is what God is saying to all of us. Listen to my, to listen to the, the, the word of God and go and do it. Alright, listen to it and go and do it. When the disciple heard this, he fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched him, get up, he said, don't be afraid. And Jesus said, don't be afraid to do. Uh, don't be afraid with the, the, the background scene and don't be afraid to do his will. Okay? And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus instructed them, don't tell anyone you bring the other nine. Alright? Until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Okay? He told them in advance, so that when the thing happened, they would believe, right? He said, don't tell anybody. So the, the this secret is only given to the closer, the bitter gym, the inner circle, inner most circle. So God is telling us, this is my message to you. The inner most circle, that if you die for me, you will become a king one day. Right? That is your reward. You will be a glorified body like Jesus, transfiguration. Okay, so this is the message for today. Eh? So praise God. Okay, I was uh, very happy to be able to have an understanding of this picture, to bring encouragement to myself and to hopefully to all of you as well. I'm sure you'll be encouraged that one day you become a king when you lay down your life to do the work of God. And you must start doing our listen to Him. Okay, let's go in prayer. Uh, this, morning, this, uh, this afternoon, uh, this morning, uh, afternoon, they uh, hear you say, God, I want to listen to you. Do you want to pray for you? Anyone? Anyone say, God, I want to listen to you? Yes, yes. Any others? Say, God, I want to listen to you. Okay, praise God. Okay, yeah? let's uh, pray. Lord, thank you for everyone, especially those who raise their hand. God, and they say they want to listen to you you and to lay down your life for you uh, regardless of uh, rejection, being killed for mother, etc. And this is nothing. The present suffering is nothing compared to the future glory that you will bestow upon us. Lord, we will listen to you and do your work for you. Thank you for this wonderful time. Your blessings be in the powerful name of Jesus. We pray. Okay, let's uh, pray back.